individuals in fact coming in from Chennai right now where a war has broken out between the supporters of Pedapadi Palansami and O Pani Salvam. Remember, who is going to take control of the AIADMK? The General Council meeting has been called but also the High Court is going to listen to this matter today, hear this matter today. A final call is then going to be taken on who then is in position or who is authorized ready to call for the General Council meeting and who then controls the AIADMK. Pictures that Akshita Abhigapad Naksha is sending us is from Chennai where protests have broken out. Akshita, if you can hear me, I'd like to ask you about the current situation vis-a-vis -vis the police trying to bring the situation under control. We also have pictures of uh, the protesters going on a rampage. These, of course, are the supporters on one side of Adipati Palensami on the other of Opanisa. Akshita. Well, yes, Neha, you can see I'm standing right before uh, OPS's vehicle, his vehicle has been brought in, and we're seeing that all the supporters here are trying to clear the way. Uh, there is a lot of ruckus which is being created by these supporters, and as uh, indicated, the clashes that broke out between UPS and OPS faction here, that aftermath can be seen on the floor, on the road here, where there are broken glasses, there are fences stones, all of that, and here, uh, OTI is being brought to the AIADMK headquarters uh, with the help of his supporters who are clearing the way. You can also see uh, police officials. You can see how vehicles have shattered glasses all over. All these vehicles have been shattered by the OTI and OTI faction members who are that this is going to happen. And right now we are just meters away from the AIADMK headquarters. And, you know, the situation is very, very tense here. Uh, people are being violent. That's very evident to you. You can see how people are threatening uh, other faction members. They have, uh, you know, wooden words in their hands, sticks, I should say. And uh, stones are being counted. They're all, like, screaming at people. They're all being stones being counted by uh, EPS members on the other side. Uh, abuses are being held as one another. So the situation is very dense. You can see how all of them are holding rods in their hands. And this is almost like a seamless situation which we're seeing here at the AIDM to have slaughtered. Uh, people are celebrating uh, the way, uh, you know, they're entering into this locality also. Uh, so it's a very, very, very dense situation. This is not the kind of party that, uh, you know, Jamaica would have liked to see because, you know, she has a military-like party. You can see how people are Sharing and beating the posters of UPS. Very, very violent scene here, uh, and this is just ahead of the GC meeting. You can see OPS now entering inside the air Indian for headquarters. This is the current scene that you can see outside the Avai Sandigam Charlie Road. UPS, OPS is entering inside the air Indian for headquarters. At the time when this meeting has been called by the UPS faction and a majority of UPS supporters have already attended on the Sri Vara uh, marriage hall in Ramagram, which is in the outskirts of Chennai city. And right now, here at the Royal to headquarters, you can see a very rude behavior being put forward by the members of the AIADMK OPS faction. People, all of them, carrying sticks. You can see how the banners of OPS are being, you know, for stone counters. People are counting stones at OPS, the stones, reading words. All this is happening at AIADMK headquarters. Very, very important show of affair. This is not the kind of AIADMK party that former Chief Minister Joe Jalalika would have liked to see. Pictures from Chennai. Akshay getting us all of those details. Akshay, we just... Thank you, Akshay. 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 Thank you, and also present here, they've already violated them. And you know, you can see an image of OPS, which is already set near J. Jailanita's hand uh, on the... You can see the kind of representation that people are trying to portray here. 
But the situation is very tense. So you see people, you know, taking chips and, you know, trying to hit everything that they see around. Very, very violent, violent students at the Arabian to hit water here. So we also try reaching here. Four police fellows also. The crowd is clearly. Four police fellows at this point of time. Uh, you can also see Opie has to close in along with him. Not a lot of choke there, Opie. But at the same time, the team that the proper capture here has broken out at the area of the choke. Is this the way in which Opie is trying to show his strength to the big lefty? But will he be effective enough in terms of all those general council members? from Chennai where a war has broken out between the supporters of Edipati Pill and Swami and Upani Salvam ahead of the court hearing on who then is authorized to call for the general council meeting essentially indicating who really is the boss of the AIADNK after the demise of former chief minister J. Jayalalata. In fact this is an ongoing war between uh, the two factions of the AIADNK war of the control for the AADMK has led to a street war. These fractions have resorted to stone pelting, clashes ahead of the key AADMK meeting and also of the High Court hearing on this entire matter. The Madras High Court, remember, is going to be deciding whether AADMK will have a change in party leadership or not. The court is going to be delivering its verdict on whether the General Council meeting can go ahead or not. The court will deliver the verdict at 9 o'clock, just 15 minutes before the scheduled general council meeting. The meeting has been called to approve the resolution that brings an end to the structure of dual leadership within the party. Akshay continues to be with us, getting us all the details of that mayhem that is being reported on the streets of Chennai. Pani Selvam's supporters, Akshay, have entered the headquarters of the AIADMK. Give us an idea of the current situation. So yes, you know, the kind of situation that we see at the AIADMK headquarters is very tense. As I was showing you in the vision, a violent behavior is being portrayed here. You can, uh, I'll just show you the kind of images that I hear right now. There are broken chairs, the broken posters of Erepadi K, Palmaswami, all of that done within the last few minutes by the supporters. Stones are being pelted by the people. You can see multiple stones there and also sticks being used to hit at those uh, who are against them as well. What they're doing here. All the OPS supporters have now gotten into the AIADMK headquarters. They're saying that OPS, uh, who has the, uh, the close aid of Jay Jainalika, the person who has actually supported Jainalika during the peace and you can see it and it's kind of very and so monastic to the people there. And all of them now slurring him uh, is the kind of image that is coming out of the AIADMK headquarters right now. Panesh Kalman is showing the two new symbols to all the supporters and we can see how people have, uh, you know, yelling at him, uh, you know, him in the way of his and and doing the kind of scenes that we are seeing at the Arabian headquarters, you can see the people who are also waving at for uh, Opanya Selvam and he's also standing there and waving the Arabian flag. The optics are very clear, saying that he is the chief of the message that he wants to send to his people here. So we see that if he has shown in the sample venture just a few minutes back, uh, the drive from his residence to here uh, on a normal day is only a matter of 15 minutes, but today it took close to half an hour and above, and right now here, at the AIDM headquarters, we can also show you images of how the posters of Arapadi Kopalini Swami has been broken and even now we are seeing that all the supporters 